All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you how to do the Levi Ackerman Attack on Titan build in the game Neo. Uh, I'll give credit where it's due. One of my viewers, Shinigami, actually taught me how to make this build, and I'm here to pass on this knowledge. So if you guys have ever seen the anime Attack on Titan, you'll know that uh, they have two dual swords that they use to slay down the, the Titan's neck. So your build is going to be based around the dual swords. Now if you started skilling your character in the wrong direction, there's something called the Book of Reincarnation. You can use that to reset your level and all the skills. So for the core stats, you want at least 9 in body, because you need minimum of 9 to equip the Warrior of the West armor set. And that'll give you additional bonus if you're, if you're wearing the entire set. Uh, at least 15 in heart, 13 in stamina, 9 strength. Put majority of it into skill, uh, 10 dexterity. Put a, a good bunch into magic, over 20. And spirit. If now under the dual swords uh, tab, you want to learn a skill called the water sword. And water sword 2. Uh, this move can only be used in high stance only, and you hold on to L1 if you're using a PlayStation controller, L1, and press triangle. Keep spamming triangle, and I'll show you what it does in a moment, but we're going to need all the buffs as So when you're leveling up magic, you need something called the weakness talisman that lowers the defense of the bosses, and you want sloth. That makes him move really slow. And for some reason, he told me to go with water, the water talisman. I don't know why the water one was much uh, preferred over the other elements, but yeah, we're going with water. And there were two more other things, two or three more things that you needed. You wanted the Steel Talisman to buff your defense in case you get hit and you don't die in one hit. And you want the Carnage Talisman, this one's very important. This one will lower your defense, but raise your attack. And I think that was it. So, after you have all those, go to Ready Jutsu. And you want to set the the shortcuts for him. Uh, easiest way to to set them is to set them clockwise. So you want to put. So you want the water talisman at twelve o'clock, and then the carnage talisman at three o'clock, steel talisman at six, and sloth at nine o'clock. Okay, and then when you press R two, switches over. You want the weakness talisman at the top so when you're casting it clockwise for easy reference now okay so I'm gonna give you a demo of what the end results gonna look like if you did everything correctly so you can cast all your buffs on you first so, Water Talisman, Carnage, and then Steel Talisman, and then we're going to cast Sloth, and this. Make sure you got Water Sword equipped for your high stance ability. Sometimes I forget to equip it. Okay, so... Let's do that again. So you want your water sword, carnage, steel, talisman on, cast sloth right away, and then cast weakness, and then the end result should look something like this. back in and that's it 